Hello, this is Ron Zare, and this is part two of forming, or how to approach people about the RBC Life business opportunity or products. Now you'll recall that we use the acronym FORM, F-O-R-M. The F stands for family, the O stands for occupation, the R stands for recreation, and the M stands for message. Now the whole point of that F-O-R is to understand that person. And remember, we use the acronym SIGN. What are you trying to learn about that person? You're trying to learn their SIGN. S standing for strength, I standing for interest, G standing for goals, and N standing for needs. By the end of this forming conversation, and that can be just five minutes, or it can be longer, but at the end of that, you want a good sense about what their strengths, interests, goals, and needs are. And then you're going to come to the M, the message. Now, the stronger you know their sign, the stronger your message can be, and the stronger their mindset will be as they go to the presentation. The goal of the message is not to give them the whole ball of wax, okay? You're not trying to tell them everything they ever might have wanted to know or didn't want to know about RBC Life. Your goal is to give them a message that will send them to one of the tool presentations so that they can get that presentation in its entirety. Okay, so what might the message be like? So suppose I've been talking to somebody who is 55 years old, they have some adult children who are going into university and they're looking ahead and saying, well we've got some money saved for their university but we don't have enough. And we need, we really need to get money so that we can support all three of our children all the way through university. Okay, so I understand now that, hey, this person is uh, fairly entrepreneurial. Their interests, they like to work with a lot of different people and a lot of people interaction. Their goal is that they want to be able to support their children through university, and their need is they need an extra two to $3,000 a month in order to get that. So what am I going to do? As my conversation is coming to an end, I'm going to say to that person, hey, Tom, Listen, you know how you were talking about how much you enjoy working with people and how you really, really want to get that money together so that you can support your kids through university and you need to make an extra two to three thousand dollars a month. Listen, I'm going to send you to a video, and this case is where you're going to have consider which tool, but I'm going to send you to a video. I've got this link to a video. I want you to take a look at that and it is going to explain to you how people are making an extra two to three thousand dollars a month with RBC Life so that they can support their children in the pursuit of their children's dreams. So I'm going to set it up like that. Now the stronger I link to their signs, interests, goals, and needs, and I'm repeating myself on this because it's so important, the stronger I link to that, and I link that to the presentation that this person is going to see, the more that person will go to that presentation looking for ways that it will solve his or her problem. Okay? That's very important. That's very important. Now, I may be sending them to a presentation. I may be sending them to a uh, one of the online videos. Of course, if the person's primary um, interest, goals, needs were about health, I would send them to something on the product. I might send them to something on the company. Okay, that's the time where you're going to be considering that. I may invite them to a home meeting or a live meeting. I may invite them to sit down with me face to face. But remember, the stronger I've got their signs, interests, their strengths, interests, goals, and needs, and I'm directing them there with the expectation that they'll find a solution, the more open they will be to be hearing whatever they're going to hear and see in that presentation. Thank you.